everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have a thrift store and estate sale finds video. <clears throat> I went out on Sunday again and I actually found a few things, so it was worth the time. Let's get into it. First thing are the useful stuff, dollar, 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 and two dollar <laughs> in a row. Uh, the next thing is I went to the Thrift Clearance Center, <clears throat> got this mineral specimen kit. You can see that there's amethyst, mica, uh, fool's gold, turquoise, whatever. This was, uh, let's see, being sold for $16 to $30 for the desert mineral set. This is as close as I could get. It is a vintage one. So that would give you an approximate idea of value. Uh, I'm going to swing across. I also found this. This was the first thing when I looked into the window that I saw. It is the Pyrex Cinderella set for the Autumn Harvest, and it's missing one of the bowls. It is going for $25 to $35 on eBay sold listings. Let me see if there's anything else there. I'm going to save that for the last. So, Also at a garage sale on Sunday, they were only having it that one day. I found the Amish Butter Print Casserole. It is the number 472. These are selling for seven to twenty dollars, and I paid one dollar. I went to. We're going across again. It's a little tease. I found a bun warmer for two dollars at an estate sale on Sunday, and at the same sale, I, um, I also found this this uh, butterfly gold Cinderella bowl. It's the smallest one. And it is the number 441, and these are selling between five and eight dollars. I paid three dollars because it was 50% off day. At the very last estate sale that I went to, I, I you know it's a wonder that there was even anything there, but I found this a cranberry hobnail vase. It's likely to be Fenton. There was wasn't anything on the sold listings, however, there was one just like it for sale for $54. I don't know that they're necessarily going to get that much. I think smaller vases were going for about $20 to $25, but this gives you an idea of what somebody has it up for sale. But I also found this beautiful Macbeth Evans American Sweetheart um, opalescent charger plate. It's 11 and 3 quarters. These are selling between $7 to $15, so not a whole lot, but I just love this opalescent glass, and I'm just now finding some. I guess people just don't want it anymore, like, like a lot of other um, collectibles that I like. So um, let's get down here to the very last uh, uh, company run estate sale I went to was pretty far south for me, but the pictures had looked good. And as soon as I walked up the um, drive, well, what do you call it? The pathway to the house. I'm, I'm just, it's early in the morning. I can't remember anything. <laughs> um, I saw a sign that said 75% off and I was so excited. And then I got inside and realized why it was 75% off is because everything was priced so high that nobody was going to buy anything and they still had an entire house full. And the guy running the sale, you could tell he was a little cranky because he probably hadn't sold anything. And I got this it is the uh, button hook set. It is in a beautiful original box. It was $40 and I got it for 10. I love the box and these are the button hook set. Here it is, it has the shoehorn too. Here's the two button hooks. You can see that this is sterling silver. It has uh, hallmarks and a maker's mark here and they're fairly well worn. You can see it's dented there. But I thought those were so pretty, and I don't have anything like this. I've got a vanity set up in one of my bedrooms on top of a chest, and I'm going to put these there along with the comb sets. So that'll be pretty to look at. And let's see if there's anything else since I've been jumping around. Uh, at the same place that I got the bun warmer, I got these, and I'm showing you what this looks like. You know, everybody always talks about these being weighted and what's inside. Well, you can tell this is sterling. These were inside a drawer in the china cabinet in the in the um, dining room and they are sterling I got them for a dollar for the pair but this is what's inside this is that that waxy stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and since this is already falling apart I'm gonna whack on this with my hammer and some needle nose pliers and get all this stuff out and then weigh it and see how much it weighs but there is the little um, 
bottom of this and you'll see some of it keeps coming off it is thinner than a tin can lid and it only weighs 3.3 grams so it <laughs> doesn't weigh much that's why you can't spend much for these if you're wanting to scrap them uh, at the same sale I'd asked about jewelry and they said oh in the kitchen we have some so I went and looked there and they had baskets of it so they didn't uh, and I can't imagine what it was there on the first day because these are turquoise they're sterling they have the marks here and i thought they were really pretty so i will enjoy wearing those and i also found this scrap of something it has the double uh, safety hooks class here so this is either sterling or white gold and i'll test it and let you know what i find out on my next video and lastly can you spot which item i may have uh, bought here for this reason I bought this group for a reason they were at the thrift clearance center I always go check the silverware I'm digging around and I noticed there's a little bit older stuff and I find this one item first and so I started frantically looking at all the other stuff it was five for two dollars and this is the item I decided to buy I'm kind of on a roll with these coin silver spoons which I hope continues because I just love these for some reason this is Giles Brothers and I, from what I can tell, they're from Chicago. These are selling for about $17 to $20. And I just love it. I know it's got a little boo-boo down here, but that's okay. This is 40 uh, grams of silver, so it's more than worth the $2. So since it was 5 for 20 uh, 5 for $2, I went ahead and bought the pie server and these other three. These are just silver plate, but I thought they were pretty and they have uh, their early 20th century and by the way the button hook set is selling between 30 to 60 dollars for just two pieces uh, and this one has three pieces so just giving you an idea i love to get comments from everyone if you like this type of video please press like take care bye bye